Hey everyone, welcome to Nims Toots. Today we're going to be looking at a self-aware minecart station. The station holds the minecart until there are no more items needing to be transferred, then it sends the cart on its way. Once the cart returns, it keeps it in park until it detects and finishes the transferring of items. When you go to build this, you're likely going to be adding it on to a pre-existing rail track. So I'm just going to pretend uh, as if that's what we're doing. So on the end, you're going to need a powered rail. Uh, then on top of that powered rail, place a hopper facing downward. Off the side of the powered rail, we're going to place a solid block. Then place a half slab in the upper position here on the side of that uh, solid block. Then we're going to place a junk block, solid block, then another junk block or uh, another solid block, then you can destroy that junk block, then another junk block, and solid block there. You should end up with something like this. Then we're going to be placing a comparator into a repeater, into that solid block, into another repeater. This one set at a four tick delay with a piece, or a redstone torch on the end. Then from here, we're going to come up like so, then inward, then again here, here then there and then two more solid blocks well done uh, then underneath this redstone torch we're going to have a piece of redstone dust into a piece of redstone dust into a redstone repeater on a four tick delay then a piece of redstone dust like so and then a redstone torch here and then another piece of redstone dust now you can see uh, let's grab a whole bunch of items here um, oh and then you need to of course place your minecart with a chest uh, let's grab eight items and you can see nothing happens till the eight items are fully moved and the minecart goes on its way off to your final destination. And in case you're new to moving items with minecarts, I'm going to show you how to build the uh, empty station. I don't know exactly what you'd call it, but it starts out with a chest or wherever you want them to go into uh, with a hopper placed on top. Then I need to grab a powered rail, place a powered rail right on top of that hopper. Then a solid block here, a comparator coming out of the hopper, uh, that comparator leading into a solid block with a redstone torch on top, then I'm holding shift here to place this, a solid block on top of that comparator, a solid block on top, on top of that torch I say, and then a piece of redstone dust here. And now you can see whenever uh, we move the items through this hopper, through the minecart here, uh, those seven items will transfer through then once they finish transferring the cart will come back and park itself back at our at our minecart deployment station uh, and that's actually it that's all there is to this tutorial if you could tutorial I don't know what I just said there tutorial if uh, you could drop me a like or a favorite a share uh, maybe even a subscribe would be nice I would really appreciate it anyways guys thank you thank you thank you so much for watching hopefully this comes in handy as you're moving items through your minecart world my name is Nims and hopefully this toot didn't stink well it might have it might have smelled like oil and grease but I swear that was the minecart we'll see you next time